So I got to see the film Everything Everywhere All at Once starting Michelle Yeoh. It's a Dan Kwan, Daniel Scheinart uh, film, and it's been getting great reviews. Uh, I have to say, there's a lot of great in it. First of all, Michelle Yeoh is in it. Now, full disclosure, I had lunch with Michelle Yeoh. Uh, she is probably one of her fondest memories. Uh, it was actually a very small lunch for the cast of Tomorrow Never Dies, and I was seated at the end of the table with Michelle Yeoh uh, at, at even the further end of the table. And I have to say, she was one of the most charming women I have ever met in my entire life. She was dazzlingly charming. And uh, actresses are all charming. I mean, that's kind of what they know how to do. But she just made you feel like you were the only person in the room or on earth. And I, I gotta say, I walked away with like little birdies flying around my head. She is just a spectacularly, not obviously beautiful, but uh, and, but also just a charming, delightful person. Uh, and she's great in this. She is, everybody is great in this. It's, it's not just her. There's an actor who does a funny turn as her husband, Ki Huai Kwan, and he's hilarious. And just, it's really a lot of talent involved in this. Uh, and it, what it's about is about this woman, Michelle Yeoh, who is the mom, uh, kind of a family running a Chinese laundry. They're being audited by the IRS, and she's got all these dreams that didn't come true. And she's got to go in and talk to Jamie Lee Curtis, who is absolutely fantastic in the thing. I mean, it's really one of her best performances. Uh, so much to enjoy about this movie. And it turns out that she is a superhero of the multiverse who has to stop an evil uh, demon from destroying the multiverse or whatever. You know, who knows what's going on. It just becomes this absurdist chase. Some, some laughs, not uproariously funny, but some, you know, cute stuff. And again, the cast is just great. My complaint about this film is really a complaint about the multiverse as a concept anyway. Uh, and this is something we'll talk about more on my show sometime. But I, I think that the multiverse as a concept has been obviously overused. The multiverse is something that scientists invented wholesale to keep away from the fact that the world is created by God. They can't explain the world, and so they say, oh yeah, well, it must be a multiverse. Yeah, how can it be that this world is so perfectly tuned to human life? And they say, well, this just happens to be the world that is attuned to human life, but there are many, many universes, some of them not, which is kind of like you're in a poker game, and a guy pulls a gun on you and says, how come you've gotten five royal flushes in a row? And you say, well, this just happens to be the poker game in which a guy gets five <laughs> flushes in a row, and that's the next thing you know, you've been shot. Uh, and so it's just it's just not logical. But as drama, it really doesn't work. It's kind of like time travel. If you do it for laughs as they do it here, you forgive a lot of the logic of it. Uh, but it also just means that everything is meaningless. And the funny thing about this movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once, it's about that fact. It's about the fact that if we accept the multiverse, all of life becomes meaningless because it's just one version of life that's being done a million other ways a million other times. And so the movie works logically if you see the multiverse as the fantasy of the main character. But if you see it as a real thing, and there's no way not to see it as the real thing the way they play it, it really doesn't make any moral sense. So that's that's a high level you know, comment. It's, not a, it's a very long movie, but it's not a boring movie. Performances are great. Uh, script is good, solid, but it just doesn't make sense. And there's something about this, this multiverse as a concept that is draining drama out of uh, otherwise dramatic things. I mean, not to pick on this film for other reasons, but the Marvel Universe with its multiverse, you start to think like, well, if, if Spider-Man can die in this universe, but he can come back in another universe, what do I care? What, you know, what do I care? And it's just a way, basically, of minting money. Uh, this film is using that concept for good psychological reasons. I'm not picking on it. It's a good, solid film. But this underlying problem of the multiverse as a moral uh, entity is, is just a problem for the film. It's a problem for all these films. But again, Michelle Yeoh, always terrific. Uh, this other fellow, uh, Ki Huai Kwan, uh, is great. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, unbelievable. And of course, the great James Hong, who just uh, got a, uh, a star on the Walk of Fame in L.A., uh, is always, always terrific. Uh, so good cast, uh, solid film. Uh, entertaining uh, enough for a long film, but it does, you know, it's just, it, it somehow for me didn't morally hold together. If that matters to you, <laughs> you just go see something else and just stay in this universe for a while. For more Clavenny goodness, like and subscribe and subscribe to the Andrew Claven Podcast. <laughs>